Hi Taurus and welcome back to my channel with all the current media frenzy focusing on a specific celebrity couple who has reunited and rekindled their love and romance. I figure let's find out who wants a potential second chance at love with you Taurus. Now this is going to be a two-part series. This specific uh, video is going to be focusing on the personality, career, hobby or interest of that person who may want a potential second chance with you. There is going to be a second video, so tune in. It should be up in the next couple of weeks. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive taro and oracle reader. Uh, I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you can continue to uh, give those thumbs up, those likes and those shares and subscribe to the channel so that I can continue to bring you these channels messages. All right. Taurus, let's find out what's going on here. Who is this uh, person who potentially wants a second chance at love with you? We're going to find out first their personality. Okay. Personality description. All right. So we have here the Knight of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, very earthy energy here, uh, towards very similar to even your energy. Okay. So first we have here the Knight of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles in general is all about the earth energy. Okay. The earthiness, the grounds it, uh, uh, you know, uh, energy such as in your sign, Taurus. Uh, Virgo or Capricorn. That does not mean that this person is a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, but they could have uh, a lot of earth in their birth chart, in their astrological birth chart. Okay. So that's number one. If not, if it's not that, it could be that they may be embodying this energy, especially here, the energy of the King of uh, Pentacles here. But let's start with the Knight of Pentacles. This has a lot to do with a lot of Virgo energy. Now, it could mean that something specific or significant may uh, have occurred here for this person during the uh, time frame of that Virgo energy, which is about August 20th through September 20th around there, give or take some days here and there. Okay, so that could be uh, number one. It could be maybe that's when you and this person met, right? Uh, before, because remember, this is a person who wants a second chance. So you know this person already, or you may have had a history or connection with this person. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who is really focused on putting in the hard work. They are patient. They are focused. They know what they want. They may take time to get to where it is that they need to go, but they have the tenacity, the ambition, and most importantly, the vision to get to that goal. Okay. I feel here with the Nine of Pentacles, this person is responsible. Okay. This person, uh, you know, is a productive person. Okay. They're very, uh, much into making sure that, uh, the hard work that they put in, that this investment in that is something that's going to be rewarding. Now, what's great about this is that they have the King of Pentacles right, uh, here as well. King of Pentacles energy, one of the most uh, stable and mature energies in tarot. Okay. The King of Pentacles, uh, you know, again, this is Virgo energy with the Knight of Pentacles and with this King of Pentacles. Um, it's, it's more of this Taurus energy. Okay. Again, it doesn't mean this person is a Taurus, but there could be something specific or significant that may have occurred during that Taurus time frame. Okay. Around April 20th through May 20th, give or take some days here and there. Okay. So that may be uh, specific here for this person. Now, King of Pentacles energy is very structured, um, in the sense that they are all about the, uh, stability. Okay. Not just stability in the finances or in career, but stability straight across the board in so many areas of their life, the domestic scene, family life, um, you know, their spiritual life. They, they like everything or they have this energy of 
wanting everything to have that same stability across the board, okay? Um, I'm also feeling here this person is not only stable, but this person has a generous uh, heart, okay? So this person may be one who thinks about others, may share their abundance and their prosperity with other people. If they have and they can give, then they will give, okay? That's that type of energy that I'm feeling here uh, with this person. Um, let's take a look at more uh, descriptors, descriptors here. What else can we find out here about this person who wants a potential second chance at love with Taurus personality? Whoop. All right, so guys, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, please do so now so that you can continue to get these messages. Now, remember, this is going to be a two-part series, so come back to uh, in a couple weeks to find out what part two has in store for you. Okay, so they have here, um, this This is a, a an oracle deck. They have here falselessness. Now, this is not meaning that this person is false. No, this means that this person has a very... Um, either strict or structured moral compass, okay? This person does not like people to be insincere. Um, this person does not like people to make empty promises, okay? I feel here that this person is a, a straight shooter, okay? They uh, pretty much what you see is what you get with this person, okay? I feel here with this card as well, that if they are deceived or if uh, there is a lack of transparency or clarity, this person is, uh, you know, it's not going to deal with that. That sense of their personality is coming through here. It's like they're a straight shooter. Uh, they tell you what they need to say or uh, they're, you know, for some of them, they may be a little quiet. Not all of them. Okay. Here I'm getting that um, with this cat energy, kind of like low key, kind of calm, cool, collected. Um, but they're very intuitive is what I'm picking up here. Okay. With this cat, uh, they have a strong sense of intuition and that is what helps them or leads them into certain decisions having to do with perhaps career or, uh, across the board, love life and decisions that they, uh, may make on a daily basis. They have cheerfulness here, and this is all about the fact that they like to enjoy themselves, okay? They like to take their time out from all this work, okay? They are uh, thinkers as well here. They do have thought. Um, but yeah, so this person is, you know, has a cheerful, bubbly disposition. If it's not that, okay, it is definitely the fact that they like to, at times, um, you know, go out, have fun and shoot the breeze. Okay. They may like, they may enjoy fine dining. Okay. Um, going to ba uh, bars and lounges and kind of mingling with friends as opposed to people that they don't know. Okay. I feel that, uh, their selective friend, their friends may be a selective few. Um, and this is how they escape from, taking a time out, okay? Taking a time out from all the hard work that they put in and the investment that they're putting in to making sure that across the board, uh, they are uh, stable, all right? So this is this is what I'm picking up from this person right now. Um, let's find out what career, hobby, or interest this person may have to give you mo more clues about who this person may be. All right, so let's take a look here. Career, hobby, interest. Now, this is a general reading, so I'm going to take out uh, more than just one card. It says, talk to your angels, okay? Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Now, this is coming across as two, um, two messages. This person may be the type who worries often, okay? Who may have a little bit of anxiety, uh, you know, in making sure like, uh, how can I say, like they want to make sure everything turns out right, that, uh, everything, you know, is stable. And there may be a little bit of anxiety in order to get to that goal or to maintain the stability that they have already. Okay. So that's number one. Another message that I'm getting here is that this person may, um, may have a strong spirituality, okay. Or religious foundation. All right. So talk to your angels. This person may, 
uh, be a spiritual person, uh, whatever faith of, you know, they may have, they may even not, uh, you know, uh, be geared towards religion, but more towards spirituality. Okay. Um, and so they may either have practices such as yoga, meditation, or, uh, maybe even esoteric, uh, you know, uh, esoteric practices like tarot, uh, palmistry, um, you know, uh, sound healing, you know, some new age, uh, type of, uh, vibration is what I'm getting here. Okay. Um, they also have here study. So this person, and it's interesting cause I did say this earlier, um, when I showed you thought now, very interesting, two different decks, same image. So this person, um, is the type of person who number one, may be a thinker. Okay. This person may be very grounded and so much grounded or so much focused on stability that they really are more focused on the logical analytical type a personality. Okay. Not all of them, but I do feel that this person is very grounded in that sense. And because they want to make sure that things, you know, all the I's have the dots and all the T's are crossed, there is a, a amount of meticulous detail that they do, okay, or that they focus on in order to get certain things the way they want to get them, okay, or the way they should be presented, okay, that's what I'm getting with this person. Now, it says study, reading, research, and education, okay, so this person may be in education, this person may have a lot of degrees under their belt. Um, this person may love reading, may love doing research. This person uh, may uh, even work in an industry where there's a lot of research, where it's research based, where there's a lot of reading, there's a lot of uh, having to gain knowledge, okay? And that's what I'm picking up here with this person. This person could also be a good speaker or a good communicator. So their industry, your career industry, hobby or interest may be or may focus on speaking. Okay. So it says your life purpose involves your skills, your skills of oration. Okay. Um, and this is all about being a good speaker. All right. They may communicate with people. They may be, uh, in a position at work where they're constantly, uh, either working with clients, working with individuals that need help, Okay. Really using their voice. They could also be in other industries such as a singer. Okay. Or a vocal uh, coach. Okay. I mean, there's so many different varieties here of, uh, you know, industries this person could be in, but at the heart of that industry, what's uh, being focused here. Um, it's interesting because I'm even getting like preacher or a person who spreads the word of faith. Uh, very interesting here, especially with these two cards here. Okay. So this person may be the type of person who, again, is focused on studying and and has strong speaking skills, strong communicator. All right, let's see what else career, hobby, or interest this person may have. We have here the world, okay? Now, this is all about expanding. This person uh, may help others through their knowledge or through their sense of communication. They may help others that may feel a little bit, uh, that need a little bit more guidance, okay? So this person may be at a position in their career or maybe perhaps a hobby or interest where they are either helping people or guiding people. They also have here a uh, person holding the heart. Okay. They're really, uh, they're, they're really focused on giving to others. I, I said this before, um, and it came across very powerful here in uh, this section about their personality. This person could be a person who likes to be generous and likes to give to others. They may like to give their time or they may actually give tangible things like clothes or, you know, money if somebody needs it. Okay. 
I feel this person is a very good friend as well. Um, with the world card, and this is, uh, I'm going to explain this a little bit more because I'm getting more messages here. I feel this person either in their, uh, in their disposition, their personality, or just how they are, they, how they kind of project themselves. They project themselves as a person who's able to help others, not only guide them through certain paths, but also share some type of knowledge. Maybe, uh, maybe, you know, you know, maybe they, they don't have a, you know, co a college degrees or something here, as I said uh, earlier with study, but they may have something even more useful and more um, valuable here. And that's wisdom. Okay. And that's not something that you can study, right? Um, so this person may have some type of inner wisdom that helps other people, or they may have what I, what I say, like an old soul. And the reason why I'm saying that is this person here has white hair. Uh, this person here has white hair. And I believe, if memory serves me right, this person here also has white hair. So there is this sense of this sense of wisdom and knowledge that this person uh, may share with others. They may even be an old soul. This person may be, uh, you know, chronologically in age uh, young, but may come across as someone who's so knowledgeable. Okay. As far as the man holding the heart, I feel there is a lot of emotions. There are a lot of emotions and love in whatever this person does. They're the type of person who they're all in, in, uh, their career, their hobbies, or their interests. It's all about the love that they can share and the generosity and inspiration that they can also share with others. Taurus, I hope these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family and click down here for more messages. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.